All right, so I know you guys have put a lot of time in the preseason and early this season into into the press. What do you guys have to do well tomorrow? Um, I think just execute what we've worked on. Um, the biggest thing is just to go with pace. You know, last year I think sometimes we would just like almost like get the ball in and just sort of like hold and survey for a couple seconds. And that's mm -hmm. like two, three seconds you kind of want back at the end of your 10 seconds trying to get over half court. Um, the best thing is just obviously do what we've worked on and be aggressive. Like, you know, if they're going to press, we have to hopefully try and make them pay for it. Um, but they're, they're a team of really good athletes and they have, um, I can't remember his name, whoever's on the top of the press, they're four man, super athletic really active um, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a difficult challenge for us um, but I think we're, we're excited for it so what's kind of the rule book um, for handling a press or their press or whatever I, I think it's just being aggressive and when you got two on you know and knowing to get the ball out of your hands um, really just I think just playing I think when you think about it too much that's sort of when they get you yeah i um, sped up Obviously, you kind of want to stay away from the dead zones, and you know, right, right before and right after you cross half court, anytime you can center the ball, you know, I think you're going to get a pretty good look. Mm -hmm. um, so if we can do that, you know, I think we'll be up. I think we'll be good. Get the ball out of your hand quick too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think as soon as if you're if you can go with it, yeah. obviously go. But if uh, just move the ball, make that move, get the you know move body side to side, and make them cover a lot of ground. Did. Um when you saw the non-conference season come out and you knew, hey, we've got some young guards, we've got a kind of a non-traditional mix of per, at point guard, did you kind of figure, hey, this is something we're going to see in November and December? Um, I, I mean, yes, yes and no. Um, I think obviously, you know, with, with, with Coach Smart at Marquette, just what he's shown, you know, at Texas and VCU, he's going to have, he's going to have teams that just play really hard or super athletic, you're going to pressure you, get up in you. Um, so I think we knew that coming in. Obviously, when you see a team like West Virginia in your schedule too, they're going to do the same thing. Florida State, you know, we played them before. So, so all those games, and mm -hmm. not to look ahead, but there's good. There, we knew there'd be some right. good challenges early to kind of push us and see where we're at and, and make us better. You know, prepare us for as the year goes on. All right. Do you want the quick threes, or do you want to make sure that you've got Zach, Caleb, Mason, and or Trey and offensive rebounding position when the game ball goes up? Uh, we always say, you know, when you're breaking a press or when you're going to transition in general, you know, wide, up, wide open layups, dunks, and wide open threes. Um, so any, any of those are good in any order. Um, obviously, you know, 90% of the time, if, if Zach or one of the big guys has somebody sealed down low, even if you have an open three, you probably want to get them the ball because the layup's a little bit higher percentage than a three. Right, right. But, um, but no, we have we have guys that can make shots. So anytime you get an open three and we break the press, you know we want to be aggressive and score. Um, Just what's your first impression of what you guys have been able to do from a de defensive perspective? It seemed like that Austin P game, everybody was on the same page and very active and energetic and and things like that. Yeah, yeah, it's been cool to see. Um, obviously, it's just a very small sample size of two games, so we still have a long way to go right. on both sides of the ball. Um, but, but it's definitely been encouraging. It's exciting to see that. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it continues. Um, but it's, it's not going to be easy. It's, it's never going to, you know, there's still going to be ups and downs to that side of the ball. But I think just our attention to detail and effort on that side of the ball has been, um, you know, important. And it was important for us, no matter who we're playing, to win a game. I think where we shoot the ball really bad um, and kind of win by getting stops. So hopefully we see that trend continue. Coach Payne.